the sun and the nine of wands. The feeling that I'm getting from this is that we need to just keep going, okay? Because things are actually going to work out really, really well. Don't hold back, don't stop now. You understand what's happening here. Like if you're if you're here and you're resonating with all of this that I've been talking about, you know what's going on. The sun. There's no denying it. And there and there may be a lot of what I'm hearing right now is there may be a lot of confusion and chaos, but ultimately everything is going to come to light eventually. Hello everyone, welcome to Divine Conversations and welcome to Morning Coffee, your collective tarot reading. Thank you all so very much for tuning in. So this is going to be a general energy reading for your day, for your moment, whenever. It doesn't matter when you watch this reading, <clears throat> whenever you are guided to watch this reading and it resonates and that's the message for you in that moment, as this is also a general and timeless reading, yes. Definitely, I encourage you guys to check out the Morning Coffee playlist, which can be found at the top right of your screen. Um, if you would like some more Morning Coffee, if you do dive the down the rabbit hole, um, then make sure to pay attention to the titles, as that's going to tell you what is, uh, well, that'll give you a feeling as to what will resonate for you or what will not, yes? Especially when you get farther down the rabbit hole um, to when I first started doing morning coffee. I did date them at that time, but those are still timeless readings. Again, pay attention to the title. That will give you an idea as to what, whether it will resonate for you or not. Um, I, I am going to get into story time because I, I, I have stories for you guys, but um, I want to say two things first before we get into that. So at least watch this part, and then if you want to skip story time, check the description box and the pinned comment below for timestamps. But um, uh, first things first, in, re in response to yesterday's video um, about, you know, your choice to... Ultimately, we were in, in, in... I mean, it was a general reading. We were talking about a lot of things, but one of the main points was that um, the a topic of inoculation or getting vaccinated came up and I just want to make something very, very clear. I mean, already I know I've noticed quite a, well, not quite a few, but like a few people dropped off the channel. Okay. To be honest with you, that's kind of to be expected given the topic of, uh, of discussion. However, I, and, and I guess I should be saying to this though, to those people, but if they dropped off, they're going to miss it. So like, whatever. But um, I just want to make it very clear that I'm not trying to say that the vaccine is bad or, or, or it's wrong of you to choose if you have chosen or if you are wanting to get the vaccine. I am not saying that is bad, okay? What I am saying is, I well, first of all, I, let me say that I, if that is your choice or if that's what you've already chosen to do, I support you on that. If that's what you feel you need to do, for you to be safe, for uh, for others to be safe, okay, great. Then I support you. I'm with you on that one. I'm behind you 100%. What I don't support is the narrative of um, those of us that choose not to get vaccinated. And some of us are choosing not to get vaccinated at this time. I know one of my very, very dear friends back in New York, last time we spoke about it, she was like, it's not like I'm against it. It's just with all of these, and first of all, it's a very new thing. It's pretty experimental and there are so many uh, fertility is a problem for her like that's her reasoning like so it's not even like everybody that is choosing not to get vaccinated now will continue to choose to get not to get vaccinated later on so like whatever the thing about it that I don't appreciate and I think is dangerous is and I feel is dangerous and, and everything in me is like this is bad this is not good um, is the narrative around that is being projected in terms of some of us that are choosing not to do it at this time. That we're assholes, that we're selfish, that we're, that we're anti-vaxxers, that we're stupid, that we're put, like, it is a choice. It is your God-given right to do what it is you want or feel you need to do with your body. But this is very similar, and I might catch a little bit of flack for this, but it's coming to my head, so I'm gonna say it. This is very similar to what's happening in terms of discussions around a woman's right to choose with her body. So there are certain groups out there that 
feel like because of their religious upbringing or their religious alignment, they get to tell every woman in the country what they can or cannot do with their body. Like, where do you get off telling someone else what they can or cannot do with their body because of their because of your religious orientation? Like, excuse, like, with all due respect, have you lost your fucking mind? Oh, okay. But you see, it's a very similar situation, isn't it, guys? I'm not going to sit here and say I know what it's like. I'm obviously not a woman, but we are being body shamed in terms of whether, in terms of whether we do it or not. And for those of us that have not done it, the narrative is like, well, this is what's going to happen to you. But the, the, the story is one-sided. We're not hearing all, the mainstream media is not giving us all the information. And that's the point. That's my point. That's my thing. It's like, if you want to do it, that's fine. If you feel you are required to do it, if you feel it is necessary, 100%, I support you on that. But what I do not support is going around telling people that they're terrible or, 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 or demonizing people for not do it, taking an experimental vaccine, period. That's my position on it. We're going to leave it there. I'm going to get into the rest of the story time because I have so many things to tell you guys. Okay, first of all... <laughs> First of all, I am in a much better mood today, uh, if you couldn't tell. Those of you on Patreon, we did a, I did a little happy hour session. Uh, by the way, if you're not on Patreon, I highly recommend that you check it out. Um, Patreon is where all the extra content goes. If I'm feeling a certain type of way and I want to do a vlog and I just want to get it out there because there's a message for the collective in there, I'll do it. If I want to do like an extra after hours reading like I did yesterday, that's for the full Monty package. I'll do it. Um, still doing monthly love readings. However, I feel like those are going to right now, like last month I did those for the signs, not, not for the signs, for the elements. I think I'm going to keep it doing it that way. Haven't been doing twin flame readings. I'm going to be honest with you guys. I haven't really been feeling the call to do twin flame readings. It's, I haven't like abandoned the situation. I just have not felt called to do it. Period. So there's that. Uh, but there's a potential for twin flame readings when that comes up, when the energy feels like it's right to talk about, um, I don't even know, uh, whatever. And then inner balance stuff, like check us out on Patreon. It, it, the, 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 what actually is posted there is constantly shifting and evolving. But if you want to get some extra content, if you want to join a little, a little more of a deeper element of this collective, um, or if you really just want to support the channel here, because let me tell you, the Patreon support absolutely helps me to be here for everybody, okay? So even if you're not necessarily interested in all kinds of extra content and you just want to support the channel, I highly recommend that you do that over on Patreon. Yeah, there are three tiers for you to do that. Check it out, patreon.com slash divine conversations. Link can be found in the description box below. However, for those of you that are on Patreon, I did an after hours reading yesterday. If you haven't watched that yet, I would highly recommend checking it out. Um, but you could tell in that video, man, that I was feeling some type of way yesterday, y'all. I mean, like, you could even tell during morning coffee, right? Just my energy was just, like, there. But I get that way. When I'm in a mode of just, like, there's all kinds of truth coming out of me, it may look like I'm aggravated or angry. Um, it's just I'm very intense. I'm focused, and I'm, I'm doing the damn thing. But anyway, I am feeling much better today. Um... Uh, full disclosure, I had sex last night. Like, I'm not even gonna lie about it. And y'all know me, like, I'm transparent as fuck up here. Like, I don't even give a shit. Like, I, he is a very lovely person. Um, he's someone that I've been kind of communicating with for a little bit now. So I'm pleased as punch. But, <laughs> but I'm feeling much better today. And thank you all to those of you that gave me all kinds of suggestions. Um, now, full disclosure, oh, full disclosure, what am I saying that for? I wasn't, I wasn't talking about the mosquitoes yesterday looking for remedies. Like, I really, really appreciate it. Thank you. To all of you that were like, oh, try this, try this. Thank you so much. I mean, I wasn't talking about it just to, to get remedies. I was just speaking on it. And that actually did end up being a theme all day yesterday that also translated into the happy, the after hours session that I did last night for Patreon. 
Um, but I ended up, I ended up going to the store, to the grocery store, and uh, buying a bunch of like groceries for the week. And I bought some Black Flag. Now I started. I, I I found. I wanted to get something for the mosquitoes first. Like I wanted to get a fogger, specifically. That's what was pump up, uh, popping into my mind. A fogger. Um, and so I did that, but then I also saw uh, something for ants and roaches, but I got it for the ants because I've been having a war with fire ants lately, right? Oh God, the fucking fire ants. But anyway, so um, I got home and I, and first of all, I know I need to be careful using this stuff with the cats. Like I totally get that. Um, but I got home, I used the fogger on my windows, on my door, and it's great haven't seen any ants because I was able to, to fight the ants back a few days ago. But let me tell y'all something, okay? Like, let me tell y'all something. I went out last night to go meet up with my very lovely dear friend. And I got home to a whole mess of massive male cockroaches powwowing on my counter. Y'all. When I tell you, man, I flipped out. I walked into that, I walked into my apartment, turned on the lights, was talking to the cat, moved something on my counter, and they all go scattering. I'm like, I know y'all fucking lying. Now I know, I know, ain't nobody told, now ain't nobody told y'all this was about to be your congregating spot. Mm -mm. I grabbed myself that black flag, man, and I just started spraying. It was fan. Fantastic. And so then I started noticing where they were coming from. So I sprayed the, and I, I swear to you guys, I sat there in my apartment last night. It's like around 10, 11 o'clock at night with a glass of wine, just sitting there, just living, like just yucking it up, watching them come out from under the cabinet and cross that bear. Like, whoop, there goes another. Oh, 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 big boy. There you go. Oh, that burns, doesn't it? Yikes. And then like, part of me is having trouble with that. Cause like, I'm working on being, uh, like, we're ascending here. And part of this ascension process is understanding that, is coming to the understanding and the, rec the recognition that there is God, source, creator, there is divinity in every living thing on this planet. I don't care what their energetic orientation is. I don't care what their moral orientation is. I don't care if they're a mosquito, a cockroach, what the fuck ever. There is God, source, creator. There is divinity in everything, right? So in this war with the mosquitoes and the cockroaches and the ants, it's like part of me, not gonna lie, part of me gets a hell of a lot of satisfaction by sitting there and watching them cross this barrier of this black flag shit and just like get burned up and, and, and die, right? But then there's another part of me like that, like, damn, that's really cruel. Like, that's a living thing. And you're right, it is a living thing. But stay the fuck out of my house. You're not welcome here. And it's not even like, it's not even like I hate you and all that stuff. It's not even like we can't coexist, but like, stay the fuck out of my house. Okay, a bear is not gonna let me crawl up in there and be like, yo, let me, let me, let me, uh, let me, you know, roomie with you. Let me shack up with you for a hot second. Hell no. Nah. That bear is gonna maul me to pieces and probably eat my ass, right? Whoa, well, you know, we're humans. We're of a higher consciousness. We're of a higher intelligence, blah, blah, blah. Fuck out of here, man. Stay, stay out of my house. Stay out of my house. That's it. And it's not like you can sit there and have a reasonable, irrational conversation with them. You know what I mean? Like, we can't, you know what I'm saying? Like, we can't sit there over some coffee and be like, look, can we just, like, agree to disagree? Can you, you know what I mean? <laughs> anyway, that black flag shit is magic. <laughs> anyway, all right. And I know, I know, guys, I have to be careful with the cats. I get that. I will. <coughs> Coffee goes in your stomach, Eric, not in your lungs. Coffee is not to be inhaled. Okay, speaking of coffee, I want some more. Hold on. Yay! Okay, we're back. I've got my coffee refill. We're gonna get into this. You might be noticing I'm not wearing one of my necklaces. It's because it broke yesterday. I was cleaning up and I had some bags on the floor and I was moving bags into the closet and it got caught on the necklace. See, it's, it's right here, but it broke. 
and I'm really sad about it. I can fix it. Actually, I can definitely fix it. Um, I don't have the tool. Oh, actually, I do have the tools for it. Anyway, I'll fix that later. So we're going to get into this. I want to keep using the Epic Tarot. Um, and then I have both the after and before tarots here, but I don't know what I'm going to use for clarity. I'll figure that one out later. And then, of course, we'll cross the Oracle Bridge when we get there. Yeah? Excellent, guys. Let's get into this and see what messages we have for the collective today. Hi, Spirit. Please make me a clear channel for the collective at this time. Please bring forward the best messages to serve their highest good and the highest good of all involved. Please give us clear and accurate representation of the energies in terms of these situations, situationships, circumstances, romances, relationships, and places in which we all need it the most. Thank you so very much, Spirit. Alrighty, kids. I'm going to give this five shuffles and we'll see what we've got for the collective today, yeah? This is one. This is two. Oh my God. I totally forgot to say. Um, this is three. So we're having a benefit from Betsy. Betsy of Fearless Intuition, one of my very, very, very dear friends. Um, this is four. She recently found out that she has a rare form of blood cancer. And so on August 8th, I believe that's a Sunday. I'm not, I don't remember. Um, I have the flyer. This is five. We are going to be having a benefit for her. Um, check, uh, keep an eye on the community tab here on YouTube. Also, if you're following me on social media like Facebook and Instagram, keep an eye out there. I am going to post something. I'm going to post the flyer with all the official information. This is five. But we will be doing a benefit for Betsy on the 8th of August. It's me and two other tarot readers. Um, you will be able to and ask a question for $30. Um, again, keep an eye on my social media um, as I'm going to post all the real details. But $30, send it to Betsy's PayPal link. Let her know which of the three readers you would like to get your question answered by. You don't have to choose one. You can also allow Betsy to choose for you. Um, there is a min maximum of 10, read uh, 10 questions per reader. Um, and we're going to do it live on YouTube. Yeah, so stay tuned for that. Um, that really is going to be a really great situation. I'm really excited about that. Is that this coming weekend? No, it's next weekend. Because this weekend... Uh, the 1st of August is on Monday, so it's the following weekend. Okay. Anyway, so, yes, we're doing that on the 8th of October. Not October. Good Lord. August. We're October? What the fuck? Anyway. Huh. All right, y'all. Let's get into this. What do we have for the collective today? What messages do we have for the collective today? What's going on for the collective today, please, spirit? one jeez okay i'm just gonna let it happen so a, lo a lot of cards have fallen out you guys but the old one card that has fallen face up is the sun at the bottom of the deck you do have the nine of wands all right so check it out um i keep hearing i'm gonna go ahead and um say this but i keep hearing uh about the delta variant I don't really want to make this a big thing about like coronavirus and, and all that shit, but I keep hearing about the Delta variant and I keep hearing, um, uh, to this morning, actually, I was sitting, I was getting ready, like I was getting myself together and I heard it again, but then there was more to the message and I feel like there's going to be some sort of disclosure coming forward. There have been a lot of people that have been saying, you know, there's a lot of disclosure that's coming this year. This has been kind of a year of disclosure. There's even more coming. But I keep getting this message that 
there are some government organizations, come some covert government organizations that are behind a lot of this, and that's going to come out. And that's kind of what I'm feeling with the sun here. Okay, you have the sun as the first card. Now, it doesn't, again, this doesn't necessarily have to have to do anything with COVID or any of that stuff in your life, okay? But what's what's happening right now, the sun and the nine of wands, the feeling that I'm getting from this is that we need to just keep going, okay? Because things are actually going to work out really, really well. Don't hold back. Don't stop now. You understand what's happening here. Like if you're if you're here and you're resonating with all of this that I've been talking about, you know what's going on. The sun. There's no denying it. And there and there may be a lot of what I'm hearing right now is there may be a lot of confusion and chaos, but ultimately everything is going to come to light eventually. And then at the bottom of the deck, continuing underneath the nine of wands, we do have judgment. Okay. So uh this is a collective call to ascension. Everything that is happening in the collective, in the world right now, is absolutely necessary. And that's why so many of us are in this field, in this position, energy workers, channelers, light workers, all that stuff, all of us that are really walking this path of ascension, we're all saying to you, just ground yourself. Keep hold of your sovereignty. This is literally a make or break moment in human society. And for those of us that actually make it, excellent. Stand your ground. You're going to be fine. For those of us that break in this situation, don't worry. For those, especially if these are like friends, close friends or family or something like that, and they don't quite make the cut, don't worry about it, Okay. Everything that is happening at this time on this planet is for a reason. Those individuals will get another chance. That's the thing about all of this, you guys. Death is not the end. Okay? I'm not gonna I, I'm not gonna sit here and sugarcoat this anymore. I'm not gonna sit here and play this game of whether you believe this or believe that. Death is not the end. Okay? Death has never been the end. Death is only a transformation. If you have lost, those of us that have lost some, I mean, there, I'm sure there are people that have not experienced a death yet in their lifetimes yet, but not whatever, but like anything is possible. For those of us that have like lost someone close to us, they're not completely gone. Their soul, their spirit, they still exist in another plane, in another dimension. Oh, shit. That was the other thing that I wanted to talk about. Um, another sidebar, on Wednesday, I'm having, we're doing happy hour, and I'm going to be talking about, um, what am I going to be talking about? I'm going to, I want to talk, I want to have the dimension talk uh, that I mentioned last week. A lot of you said that you wanted to do it, so we're going to do it, and we're going to do it during happy hour. I'm going to try and remember to announce that at another time where people can see it, but, well, this actually was probably the best time to see it, but, um, on Wednesday for happy hour. So keep that in mind. If you want to get in on this dimensional chat, think of your questions and uh, make sure to make it there for happy hour on Wednesday. I will be taking your questions. I'm going to do my best to answer it from the best of my ability. If you miss it, don't worry. It'll still be up there. I'm, I'm not going to delete it this time, I promise. Or at least I'm not going to try to delete it. Anyway, that was a sidebar. We're going to do that event. We're going to do that on Wednesday. Tomorrow. Uh, but anyway, the, like death is not the end, you guys, okay? It's really just the beginning. It's a transformation. It's the end of one portion of your existence at the beginning of another, okay? You can look at it that way. But either way, the sun is here, shining brightly, and everything is going to be fine. The truth will be revealed. Everything is going to be seen for exactly what it is, and that is coming. Interesting. This is a very interesting mess of cards. You have the Ten of Cups, which is representing the community. You have the Ten of Wands, which is representing the burden that the community carries. You have the Knight of Wands, which is an energy of enlightenment and torch bearing, showing the way. You have the Eight of Swords to the Four of Pentacles to the Four of Cups. All right. Light bringers, light showers. We're here and we're needed. This is not a time to sit there and go through any sort of spiritual bypassing, okay? And saying to people, you know, 
you don't need this, you don't need this vaccine, you don't need this healthcare system, you know, you don't need this. That, that's not what we're saying here. What we want to bring to light is the truth. And the truth is how society is being burdened and bogged down and held back. Now, here's the other thing about this. Because it's going to be society's choice to let go. And right now, people are holding on steadfastly. Four of Pentacles, Four of Cups. They're holding on because they don't know what to believe. They don't understand the process. They don't understand what's going on around them. And that's fine. This is not a time for dogma preaching, standing on your soapbox and like preaching to people, this, that this is a time for understanding and community doing what is best for the individual. And if that means inoculation, then by all means, go ahead. No one is shaming you for that. But what we do not want to do is shame people for not wanting to follow suit like that. Because there are plenty of, I can't believe we're still talking about this, you guys, but there's plenty of us that believe differently, that live differently, that have experienced differently. So to turn around and tell somebody they're wrong is not fair. And quite frankly, it's not your place to do so. Anyway, I really... Spirit really wants me to talk about this, so I'm going to do it, but, like, it's kind of making me nervous. But anyway, we're going to continue. Um, but the message here is very, very clear. It's the sun. Illumination. The sun is representing illumination. The sun is representing disclosure. Like, you can't hide from the sun. I mean, sure, you could live under a rock. Okay, fine. I guess you could hide from the sun in that sense. But in this case... The sun is representing full disclosure. It's going to happen at some point, very, very soon. I keep hearing it. I keep hearing it from a bunch of other people. I'm not trying to put a timeline on it. I just know with the, traje the trajectory that we've been in lately, okay, this is a time of disclosure and it's going to happen, okay? But ultimately, we have a collective, 10 of cups, that is burdened and bogged down Ten of Wands and is chained. Eight of Swords. The Eight of Swords is that energy of the mental prison. Feeling stuck. Okay? Feeling like you can't move forward. Like you can't release. Like you can't let go. Like you can't, like... But the Eight of Swords is about a choice. You can choose to release yourself from this. Or you can choose to stay. It's always your choice choice. What I want to, what I really want to talk about actually is the four of cups and the four of pentacles here. Before or after? After. After Tarot. Let me give this five shuffles. What just flew out? I'm not going to take these. Okay. Five shuffles. Yes. Um, and what I'm feeling for this clarity, what I'm feeling for this energy right now, four of cups, four of pentacles, um, this is going to, what I really want to ask, what I feel is coming through is this is going to be some sort of guidance or could be some sort of guidance in terms of how to deal with people in your immediate family or in your immediate environment that are here, four of cups, four of pentacles. They don't want to take the opportunity to let go for whatever reason. Okay, and there's something about this Four of Cups that's very sorrowful, very sorrowful in this circumstance, all right? There's a lack of belief in oneself. There's a lack of belief in one's power, one's abilities to survive and to strive. I feel like these are individuals that have, in essence, drank the Kool-Aid. Okay, five shovels, one. This is two. Four.
and five. Oops, try that again. Five. Alrighty. Four of cups, four of pentacles. Yes, what, what guidance do you have for us in terms of this food spirit? Four of cups. Okay, well, strength wanted to come out. It flashed me, but it didn't actually come out. Okay, so this is definitely an ego situation. Okay, all right. One card and one card only. Wow. At the bottom of the deck, you have the sun, you guys. The sun to the queen of cups to the hermit to the knight of pentacles. All right, so check it out. You're re we're really needing to be compassionate here. The one card that has come out to clarify the Four of Cups and the Four of Pentacles is the Empress. First thing that I'm, I'm, I want to point out is that the Empress, yes, can represent a level of enabling here. But that's, I mean, I think that's something to caution against. It is the first thing that came up. So we're not asking you to be an, an enabler here. No. But what we are asking you for is to be compassionate and understanding and unconditionally loving. The Empress doesn't care what the circumstances, the stipulations or the requirements are of those which of those whom she nurtures. She doesn't care. She'll do it. It doesn't matter to her because she loves. She is an unconditionally loving individual and her goal, her her. Her, what she strives for is to nurture individuals into their authentic selves, regardless as to what that takes for each individual involved. So instead of sitting here and drawing a line in the sand and saying, you can't show up, you can't hang out with us, you can't sit with us because you have been vaccinated or you haven't been vaccinated or you're this or you're that, you're white, you're black, you're gay, you're straight, you're trans. Like, do you understand? We're still having this conversation, you guys. It's just taking another, instead of using race, instead of using sexual, obviously they can't use race or sexuality anymore, right? Like, sure, there are plenty of people that are beating that drum of white supremacy and are beating that drum of, 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 of segregation and racism and homophobia and all that shit, right? Okay. But that's starting to come to an end. So they got to find some other way, right? To segregate us, to separate us, to, to separate the elites from the non-elites. Like, this is class warfare all over again. Like, why don't we see this, you guys? Why? It is fucking 2021. And we're still having conversations from the 1950s. the empress, unconditionally loving. If you need to do a certain thing in your life for you to feel safe or because it resonates with you, that's how you want to express yourself, that's who you need to be, that's what you need to do, then by all means, darling, go ahead and do that. I support you 100%. Do you need my help? Do you need a ride down to this, that, like, do you need a hand? But don't turn around and tell me I can't do what I feel I need to do is best for me. That is what we are not going to do around here. The sun with the queen of cups, the hermit, and the knight of pentacles are all at the bottom of the deck. The sun represents disclosure, represents illumination, also represents inclusion. The Queen of Cups is that compassionate energy, that empathic energy, knowing intrinsically what it is people need and where it is they are energetically, having that empathic, uh, 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 intuitive connection that helps people nurture on a really specific basis, right? But that sense of emotional boundaries, emotional stability, and emotional awareness comes from a sense of self, the hermit. And knowing with the Knight of Pentacles, slowly but surely, the more you walk in your truth and you allow others to walk in their truth, the more, the better we will become and the more we will come together and the more we will be able to understand each other and live together. 
but you must allow individuals to stand in their truths, be who they are, and not segregate ourselves because you don't agree. With this Life is not a one-size-fits-all situation. Closing work of guidance is coming from the Gaia Oracle. Four shuffles. One. Two. Oracle guidance. Okay. <clears throat> we have card number nine, a hidden gift, sadness, an ending, a new beginning. The angel featured on this card reflects the sadness that you feel at present or may experience sometime in the coming weeks. Something you cherish has or may come to an end soon. It is human nature to fear change and be saddened when something we love or are emotionally attached to ends. However, this card has a positive side and reminds you that every ending heralds a new beginning. This is simply a law of nature. Nothing is ever truly lost. Things simply transform. New beginnings are in store for you, brighter and lighter than ever. There is a hidden gift attached to this event. When the timing is right, you will receive a precious gift either in the form of positive news, a new revelation, or an unexpected turn of events that turns out to be in your favor. Whatever in turn, well, whatever it turns out to be, it will, without a doubt, Warm your heart and fill you with joy. In the meantime, be aware of the love that surrounds you. Allow it to into your heart and trust. The universe is guiding events to unfold in a way that is for your highest good. I'm going to leave it there. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful for you. I love you all so very much. I hope you have a fantastic day. And I look forward to connecting with you again for our next cup of coffee very, very soon. Yes? Excellent. Take care. Mwah! Bye. <laughs>